This is the second part of the game-based aptitude questions. Click here to go to part 1 for information on motion challenge, grid challenge and inductive challenge. As these aptitude questions are fully independent, you can as well watch this video completely and then go to part 1. The link to part 1 is given in the description below. Let me start with digit challenge in this video. The questions in digit challenge are of primary to middle school level. But the most important thing is how quick can a candidate solve these simple questions. For example, you will be given a numerical pad with 1 to 9 digits and you have to fill these boxes with the digits that are given here and no two digits should be repeated. For example, in this case where x into y plus z should give 31, I can have plenty of options like 5 into 6 plus 1 is 31 or 7 into 4 plus 3 is 31 and so on. But note that you have to keep these operators in your mind while solving this question because of the board mass rule. Division first, multiplication next, followed by the addition. This is the first level of digit challenge. This level may seem very similar to what was discussed earlier except that the division operator is placed here instead of the multiplication operator. But that is not that. Have a look at the digital numerical pad given here. The numbers are jumbled. For example, let me say your solution to this question is 4 divided by 2 plus 5 equal to 7. So you lose lot of your time in figuring out the positions of 4, 2 and 5 in the numerical pad because they are not occurring in their natural places. So the tip to solve this question is to fix the value of z from the numerical pad first such that this value of z is less than 7 but not very much close to 7. So your eyes should always be on the numerical pad and you have to fix any number that comes to your eye contact that is less than 7. Let me say I have fixed 4. So the next two numbers would be x divided by y is equal to 7 minus 4 that is 3. So obviously the next two numbers should be 3 and 1. So this means that you are not losing your eye contact with the numerical pad while solving this question. Most of the students solve the question and then come back to the numerical pad. But my tip here is to identify the numbers from the numerical pad, freeze them as and when you get a number so that you can save few seconds of time. This is a very important tip in digit challenge. The next challenge is detective challenge. This challenge is similar to the Sudoku puzzle. The numbers in the Sudoku puzzle are replaced here with geometrical figures. No geometrical figure can repeat itself for more than once in a given row or in a given column. With that being said, your tip for detective challenge is to first identify the size of the matrix. Since the size of the matrix is 4 cross 4, you have 4 geometrical figures. You have a plus, you have a triangle and you have a square. So the missing geometrical figure here is a circle. This is a very simple level 1 detective challenge question. In level 2, in order to identify the missing geometrical figure here, you need to first identify the missing geometrical figure next to it. Based upon the rules that we have discussed earlier, you have a triangle plus square. So the missing geometrical figure here is a circle. Once you have identified here as a circle, you have a triangle, square and a circle. So the missing geometrical figure here is a plus symbol. The level 3 of detective challenge consists of 5 rows and 5 columns. This means it's a 5 by 5 matrix with 5 geometrical figures. So this will take some time to solve the question. But my tip here is wherever you have a question mark, draw a horizontal line and a vertical line this way. And straight away eliminate the options that are touching these lines. So the geometrical figures that touch these lines are plus, square and a circle. So plus, square and a circle are eliminated from your solutions. The second tip is to choose in between triangle and star. So go back to the matrix and identify which among star and triangle is appearing the most. In this case, the star is appearing the most. So go with the star. A star cannot be placed here and a star cannot be placed here. Therefore, a star has to be placed only here. Since a star is now occupied, 
the other answer remaining is triangle so the position of question mark will be occupied by a triangle this is another level question in detective challenge as i have told you earlier identify the position of question mark and place horizontal and vertical lines like these and eliminate the geometrical figures that touch these lines in this case cross circle and a star are straight away eliminated so you have to choose between a triangle and a square now as i have told you earlier find out among triangle and square which one appears for more instances in the given question unfortunately in this question triangle and square both appear for one time each so i cannot apply the tip that i have told you earlier so in this case the tip is to identify the row or the column which is maximum occupied in the given question this column is maximum occupied with three cells so try to fill out the other two cells with geometrical figures since you have a circle here this cell cannot be a circle so you have a circle coming up here since you have four geometrical figures being freezed out this means that the top cell is for a triangle now since you have a triangle here you cannot have a triangle here which means that you can also not have a circle so the remaining shape is a square since you have only two options a square and a triangle if triangle is not freezed and a square is freezed here which means that this question mark must be occupied by a triangle the next challenge is the switch challenge in this challenge you will be given few geometrical figures which are uniquely colored at the input side and when they are passed through a funnel like this this is the resultant output and you have to identify how has the funnel processed these geometrical figures such that this is the output my tip here is to start looking from the output side in the output side you have a plus here this plus was originally the third position at the input so your first option should be 3 this triangle was originally the second position so 2 this circle was initially the fourth position so 4 and this square red color square is the fourth first position so 1 so 3 2 4 1 has to be the answer to this question let us also have a look at another question from the same level as i have told you start looking from the output side in the output side the first geometrical figure is the triangle and the position of the triangle at the input is 3 and next i have a circle the position of the circle at the input is 1 so 3 1 and i have only one option that satisfies so therefore this should be the answer this is level 2 question from the switch challenge where you have two funnels funnel 1 and funnel 2 to answer such kind of questions first we must know the answer to the intermediate output of the funnel so the intermediate output of the funnel is such that these geometrical figures are arranged like 1 3 4 2 so the first geometrical figure that comes out is plus the second geometrical figure that comes out corresponds to the third position of the input that is a circle the third geometrical figure that comes out corresponds to the fourth position that is square and the last geometrical figure that comes out of the funnel is the second position of the input that is the triangle now once you have got this intermediate level output this problem is similar to level 1 where a green color output is there here and this green color output appears to be the second position at the input a triangle appears to be the fourth a plus here appears to be the first position and the red color square appears to be the third position in the intermediate output so the option here is 2 4 1 the next challenge is color challenge a candidate should have a very sharp eye to brain coordination when solving these color challenges because it involves colors alphabets and numbers that share a common pattern for example in this question whenever a rhombus is loaded with a gray color ball and a white color ball it can be observed that this column is completely full of numbers here here and here now once this pattern is observed i can look into the options and i can find out that there is a 
rhombus that is loaded with a gray color ball and a white color ball. And I also found that this column is full of numbers here, 3, 3 and 3. So therefore, this is the answer to this question. So you must be very sharp in the given amount of time to identify the pattern and then choose a pattern that matches in the given options. So practice hard and Team Technions wishes you the best for your career and job opportunities. If you like to keep up with us, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon in the next video. Until then, peace and bye.